All right, guys, sales are up 49% over the last 31 days. And as you see, the spike in sales has been pretty consistent, except for what, one day right here, which how much was that day? That day was 282, which is what my normal days were before I started running this extreme markdown sale and just trying to focus on getting money versus uh, holding on to items. So what I mean by that, there's a concept out there, uh, some of the money all the time versus most of the money some of the time, coined by Tech and Sports. It's a little smoky down here, man. They burning something upstairs. So when I start focusing back on just moving units, because, you know, go figure, the more items you sell, the more money you make. When I started focusing on moving units again, my sales skyrocketed. I also attribute a lot of it to the $2 item sell, which I don't recommend everyone doing. This was not something that I was trying to like get the masses to do. I, I wasn't, that was never the plan. I saw that Bo was doing a dollar per item to move stale inventory out of thousands of items. Some of these items are going to go stale. And in order to move the items that were stale, uh, he priced his at a dollar. I figured at a dollar I'd be losing since I promoted all that other stuff. So I chose the $2 price range on mine and then I upped my shipping price and I lowered my percentage that I promote on. I lowered my coupon and I lowered the amount of money that I send the offers on. That makes me profitable on the $2 sales. With that being said, I uh, also have been ex aggressively marking down all the items that I've been uh, running in my store past a certain point. 45 days in, they need to go. So I'm starting to decrease prices on things. And I've gone back to accepting almost every offer. All that as a combination has brought my sales way up. And I'm very thankful for it. And I'm just here to document the process with you guys, show you how things are trending and what's going on inside the business. So 84 items. So we got 84 items going out for a total of $1,551. So that's not like the most awesome total considering how many items I had to sell. But at the end of the day, I'll still get a nice little payout out of this regardless. And this is just for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it's five o'clock on Saturday or Sunday evening. So I got to pack these orders up and I'll show you guys the top 10 items because as I said, Quite a few of these are going to be $2 items or under $10 items. And I don't think that provides any value uh, on an under $10 item sell. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Marcus. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I make reselling content and show you guys my journey on uh, eBay and uh, try to provide a little bit of value if I can. So hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend and your sales are doing good. Are your sales up right now or are they down? Are you... Feeling the summer slowdown yet, or is it not even bothering you yet? Um, I know a lot of people are saying they're feeling it, and it ain't even summer yet. So maybe that's like the writing on the wall for what's to come when it does hit summer. But uh, I was, obviously, as you see, it's not that case for everybody. And I don't mean that in a brag, bragging way. Sometimes you got to force sales and you got to do the extreme to get some traction. So, um, what is this? eBay notifications. I've got an offer. $5 for a Legends of Zelda shirt. I will take it. Not trying to hang on to it. Thank you. All right, so let me start pulling these items and show you guys what I got going out. Real quick, I have not made any sales on Poshmark in the last, what, two, two days? But before that, I did have a pretty good uh, Friday. I uh, had five orders go out on Poshmark, which I say pretty good because um, I don't really list on Poshmark. I haven't listed in a while. I do still use Vendu. Uh, I just haven't been. I haven't been. I don't. Ha honestly, I don't have the time to be like trying to focus on multiple platforms at this current stage in life just because I'm super busy trying to prepare for getting ready to go out of town this month at the end of the month. I have a mission trip that I'm getting ready to go on. So really kind of just been trying to get my eBay listings and my drafts built up. So that way I can continue to work while I'm out of town and not worry about my business taking a hit for me going uh, out of town. But uh, Vendu, check the link out down below. You guys can save 25% off on your first month over there. 
and you guys might really like the results that you have. I know when I first got started over there, my store was smaller. I had way better results, but the bigger your store gets over there, I feel like the, the worse sales you have. So uh, I'm going to filter these by the highest uh, and show you guys the top 10 items going out. There's another item that sold for, it uh, looks like somebody's buying a bundle of stuff. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's just two random orders that came in at the same time. All right, so let's check it out. One of the things I have noticed is that since I turned off automatic payment for uh, buyers to be able to get invoices sent to them, my automatic or my awaiting payment uh, items have gone way up. It had gotten down to where I wasn't even having any non-payments. Now I'm up to like, I think I have like five or six right now waiting. Uh, it's just kind of annoying, but at the same time, if it helps people buy multiple items at once, then hey, it is what it is. So the first item we got going out is a Gap Jacket 23527. And that's this. So this jacket, it's like a military vibe type of jacket, right? Nothing special. When I listed it as a Dean Winchester jacket from like Supernatural, uh, the show. So if you get on eBay and you type in Dean Winchester jacket, you're going to see several variations of jackets that this guy wears on that show Supernatural. And so if you use those keywords, the jackets sell for pretty decent money. This one was uh, a $38 sale for just a basic jack uh, jacket from Gap uh, Men's Large. And I did sell it on sale, uh, surprisingly, because it's the beginning of the the summer the summer type weather. Even though it's only you know spring still, still got a couple weeks till it's summer. All right, guys. So I showed you the Dean Winchester jacket. So the next item that I'm going to show you guys is this vintage Saint is this vintage St. Louis Rams sweatshirt. It's a starter made in uh, I don't know if it's actually made in the USA. Uh, without seeing the tag, I didn't put it in the title, so it probably wasn't. But that sold on a best offer of twenty-seven dollars. That's a men's extra large. And I got these vintage, play it, vintage Levi's women's five seven seven jeans. These I got um, a couple weeks ago at a yard sale, I believe. Uh, they sold for nope. This isn't the right one. This is them. This is vintage seventeen five sixty. Dash 0807. These I got over the weekend. I think I showed you guys these in a haul video. Maybe I didn't. Uh, either way it goes. These sold quickly. I had them listed for 40 and accepted a best offer of 30. Uh, they are a women's size 3. Because who's that tiny? So I bought them. Um, and then these are the 577s. These also sold for 30 bucks. But these were listed for probably a few weeks. Um, women's size 14, much more average size. These are Duluth trading uh, pants. You guys saw these in the last video, maybe the video before last, where I said that this size sold quickly, even though it was a bigger size. This is a size 40 30, and they sold for 25 bucks, full asking price, no discount, no offers. So, know what the market calls on items when you look it up. Sometimes just have faith, you know, you looked up. The item you did the research sometimes the comps are what the comps are so you don't have to give the item away but you can also um leave offers and everything turned on just fine too uh kelly elaine's the one that really encouraged me not like she personally told me or nothing but watching her videos really encouraged me to just study the market a little bit more when i'm listing my items and check what the market's calling for certain things and if you're trustworthy in your research give it a try I'm going to show you guys a couple more items here. These were uh, obviously a no-brainer, even though the brand is not great. These are wide leg linen pants, 100% linen pants. And uh, the brand is Banana Republic. And I just picked them up because wide leg and linen are two uh, factors that you can stack together right now, uh, especially going into the hotter summer or uh, hotter weather. Um, linen is definitely going to be selling like hotcakes. And the size is a good size too. So it is a size 14 and it's black and it's white leg. So it's also got this little crocheted hem accents on it, like little flower uh, hits on it. So I accepted a best offer of $21 on those. Those were only listed a couple of days. Then I got this item right here. 
vintage club sportswear made in the USA. Just a vintage sweatshirt. Um, this is a men's large, and I list this for 25 bucks. and also did not turn on offers on this. Now, this I got in a, um, a box that I bought, a vintage wholesale box uh, offline, and this is one of the sweatshirts that came in it. And uh, I listed all of them for 25 bucks, and this one sold full price. Got my brother here pulling and consolidating inventory. Uh, I got to get this. I got to get the floor cleared up so I can buy some shelves to come in here uh, next week. A lot of you guys have made, a lot of you guys know when I first moved in here, I got trolled like really, really bad about having boxes on the floor saying, oh, it's going to flood in there. Your stuff's going to get wet. And then it happened. And then uh, my landlord, which is also one of my friends, patched up the floor and everything to where the inventory wouldn't have, I wouldn't have to worry about it getting wet. What you guys don't know is that at a certain point in time, actually some of you guys do know, there was a bucket on the floor over there for a while because the ceiling was leaking from the washer upstairs uh, when they would run the spin cycle. The floor would leak or the it would leak through the floor. Well, one day they got really, really bad. Uh, I had a video of it at some point, um, but the everything got all straightened out with that and everything. So trust me, guys, I've had experiences with the wetness and the leaking and the stuff like that. So if I'm sitting the boxes on the floor, it's just because I have no time to go out and get shelving and then assemble the shelving and consolidate and all this stuff and all that. Like, I don't I don't know what you guys do in your day, but I don't have time to only do eBay all day. So I just do the best that I can. All right, let's get back to these items. This is going to be a Southern Comfort. It's not even like an official Southern Comfort vest. It's some random vest with a Southern Comfort patch sewn onto it. And it's sold for, uh, let's see here, 19 bucks on a best offer. It is a men's small due to the large, uh, to the, to the measurements, but I technically don't know what size it is. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get returned. And then I got this Burton Ski. Uh, or snowboarding brand hoodie. This sold for a best offer of 20 bucks. It's kind of like just this till blue, green, whatever color you want to call it. Got that at a yard sale for like $2. Uh, sold it for 20 in less than two weeks, maybe three weeks probably. Uh, that is a men's extra large. Then I got these TK Axle jeans. These were listed just the other day. Um, sold for $15 on a best offer. I think they're $38.32. And I got countless items that sold for $15. We got Bonobos jeans, $15. Banana Republic women's jeans, size 27, sold for $14. Bucks. Miss Me jeans, size 26, sold for $14. Another pair of TK Axle. Uh, more Helix jeans from, I sold a pair in the last video for uh, for $25. These sold for $13.99. So and then there's just a lot of $15 sales, guys. There's no need for me to just go through $15 sale after $15 sale. So um, that's why I'm only showing you guys the top 10. So as you guys see, I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of orders to pack. We're actually up to like 85, 86 orders. Still waiting on four people to pay. But hey, it is what it is. That's the name of the game when you're not demanding uh, immediate payment. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off. I hope you guys have a great weekend. That's going to do it for this one. Catch you guys on the next one. Until then. Let's make this cash, guys. Peace.